sites of Abu Simbel and the Philae Temple Complex are two Egyptian engineering marvels of antiquity. More than 100 miles apart, both historic sites were threatened by the flooding from the rising waters of the Nile. In order to save these ancient monuments, both were moved piece by piece, stone by stone, to higher ground. Built in the 13th century BC, Abu Simbel is the home of two temples carved out of the sandstone mountain by Ramses II. Four mammoth statues of Pharaoh stand at the entrance of the great temple, two on each side. When the Nile River started to rise after the construction of the Aswan Dam, the temple was threatened by flooding from Lake Nasser. The only way to save the temple was to relocate the entire site. But how in the world do you move a rock mountain? It was a titanic task, to say the least. So in the 1960s, hydrologists, engineers, archaeologists, and other professionals made a heroic Herculean effort to relocate this entire historic site. In order to preserve the ancient piece of history, it had to be moved to higher ground. In an engineering feat to rival the ancients, the temples were deconstructed, cut into huge blocks, relocated, and then put back together, stone by stone. It was a massive undertaking, an engineering marvel. The entire site now sits high and dry in pristine condition where visitors from all over the world flock to see it each year. Built around 280 BC, the Philae Temple Complex was originally built on Philae Island in the Nile River. Also threatened by flooding due to the Aswan Dam, the entire complex was deconstructed and like Abu Simbel, relocated, saving it from a watery grave. It was moved to the nearby island Agil Kia during the 1970s, only accessible by boat. The Temple of Isis and other ancient structures are located on this historic island. The walls are covered in hieroglyphics, ancient Egyptian art, and inscriptions of every sort. Standing in the shade of these massive columns, I'm reminded of the incredible skill and genius of the ancient Egyptian superpower. The lesson I've learned from the movement of these monuments have moved me with new convictions. You see, just as modern historians and archeologists saw value in preserving the ancient relics of Abu Simbel and the Philae Temple, we too should align our lives with that which is truly valuable and do all that we can to preserve these values. Our time, our talents, our integrity, our relationships, these things are the most precious things we have in life. And many times these values are threatened by the waters of temporal materialism and the floods of insignificant time consumers. My friends, don't let our fast-paced world and the glitter of wealth or fame hold you back from investing in what matters the most. One of the worst kinds of regret is coming to the end of your life wishing you had invested in what really mattered, like spending more time with family, taking opportunities of creating meaningful memories, exploring nature, educating and expanding your mind, or cultivating a relationship with God. At the end of your life, you won't regret that you didn't make more money or that you didn't spend more time in the office. You won't regret not spending more time mindlessly scrolling on your phone while the real world passes you by. I promise you that at the end of our days, these things are of very little importance. So what do you value in your life? Where are your priorities? Does your life align with those priorities? The good news is this that despite the decisions you've made up to this point, right now, you can choose to begin to invest in that which is truly important, like family, friends, fitness, and faith. So I encourage you to let go of all the peripheral issues and hold fast to what really matters. The floodwaters are coming. It's time to head to higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where these abound, my prayer my aim is higher ground. And so today I appeal to you to make this the song and prayer of your life. Don't dwell upon the floodplains of this world where the sinking sand of selfishness or the waters of worldliness will erode your spiritual walls and cause the foundation of your faith to crumble. Let go of all that hinders you in your heavenward journey. Come up higher where the ground is stable and the waters cannot reach. Don't dwell in the lowlands of doubt. 
discouragement, and distraction. Just like Abu Simbel and the Filet Temple, it may seem like an impossible, Herculean task to move the temple of your mind and the foundation of your focus to higher ground. But there is a God who said that if we have faith as small as the smallest of seeds, that our faith can move mountains. It may not happen all at once, so just take it one day, one step, one decision, and one stone at a time, and eventually the mountain will be moved. For with God, all things are possible. So look up, aim higher, keep your eyes on Jesus, and one day soon, we'll all meet in that heavenly temple where the floodwaters shall never rise again, where there's peace and joy and pleasures forevermore. And by God's grace, I'll meet you on that golden shore. We hope you were moved and inspired by this new Reflections of Hope episode. When you have a minute, please check out the rest of our episodes. Each contains a perfect dose of captivation, exploration, and inspiration for your day. See more episodes and partner with us here at the website below. Your monthly pledge will empower us to continue to create life-changing content for all. If you'd like to join me on an epic excursion in Hawaii, or create some meaningful artistic imagery, or see more of my incredible views of nature and life, check out my other websites here. And of course, please connect with us on social media. Thank you for your precious time, attention, and support. Aloha always. Mahalo and Maranatha.